Hey guys, welcome back. I have another tutorial for you today and I'm really excited about it because it's using the one of the trios from the Wet n Wild Pop Art Craze collection and this one is in your 15 minutes aren't up. This was one of my favorites from the collection. There were two that I liked more than this because they were more pigmented but on the eyes I really do like this one. I did a look with this the other day just for fun and then I liked it so much I thought I'd film a little tutorial for you guys. So um it's pretty bright it's pretty out there uh, it's got it's using just this and then um, one of the deeper colors from this uh, this color right here and then also I used um, the physician's formula uh, quad in Canyon classics I really like these are great matte eyeshadows from the drugstore really good quality um, but yeah the um, the main thing is this one right here it's the main I would say the star of the show the main star of the show is this one um, I love the maroon and the bright purple and then that super um, fun yellow there. So yeah, this is what it looks like and um, if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, we're going to get started. So the first thing that you're going to start with is the I Heart Stage or I Love Stage eyeshadow base from Essence. And technically it's a base, but it does work as a primer for me. Um, it really helps the eyeshadows adhere and really just last a lot longer. So you want to blend that in um, and it's always best to use your ring finger on that sensitive eye area. Okay, now we're going to take the Color Tattoo 24 Hour metal eyeshadow in inked in pink and we're going to apply this onto our eyelid and this really just helps those eyeshadows stick a little bit more. Um, I like to use these and a primer. It works really well together. So just really blend that in. Um, you don't want to go too far up. I'm blending just barely into my crease. Um, it just helps everything. Okay, now we're going to use the Physician's Formula. This is from the Smoky Nude Eyes. Uh, set and it's in the gold color. You're just going to apply this. This is going to be kind of like our base. So apply that to the inner corner of your eye and then also just barely in the inner part of your lower lash line. It's going to help that yellow shadow pop later. Okay, now we're going to use the Physician's Formula Quad in Canyon Classics. I really like this. It's a great matte eyeshadow quad from the drugstore. And we're going to use the lighter shade of that kind of um, light brown tone and then also the darker brown as well. I didn't show that but we are using both of those here and we're just kind of using this as our transition color to help blend out everything. Alright now we're going to take the uh, Wet n Wild, the star of the show, your 15 minutes aren't up and we're going to start with the pink and just take a flat shader brush and apply that to the middle and outer part of your eyelid. And with this shadow, you do want to tap it off because it does have some fallout um, and you just have to kind of keep packing it on and building up the color. This wasn't one of the most pigmented from the, from the collection, but I do really like the color, so you can build it up if you just keep applying more. As you can see, it's a really pretty pink. Now we're going to take the Wet n Wild Petal Pushers palette. We're going to use just a teensy bit of this darker color here that says crease. And we're going to apply just a little bit of that in our outer corner. And because these are so pigmented, you want to start slow. You want to get just a little bit on your brush and blend it out and build it up over time. And I'm just using some kind of a paint brush from Michaels, so you really don't even have to have technically an eyeshadow brush. Just whatever kind of brush you have that's small enough to get into that outer corner for that kind of detailed work. And as you can see, I'm just kind of adding more color and deepening it up. Now I'm going to go back in with that pink just a little bit. Because of all that deepening, it did kind of lose a little bit of the pink, so I want to apply just a little bit more to make it more vibrant. And actually I kept looking at it and I kept adding more and more to make it mostly pink. Okay, now we're going to take this purple liner. This is from the Brown Eyes set from Physicians Formula. And you're going to just apply this to your lower lash line. And now we're going to grab some of that purple from the trio that we've been using. And grab some of that on just a little smudger brush and apply that to the lower lash line as well. And you want to make sure and really blend this out a lot because you don't want to have a harsh line under your lower lash line. So really blend it out well so that those colors are nice and soft. Okay, now we're going to go in with that yellow from the trio and we're going to take it on a pencil brush. You want to tap it off because it does have fallout and we're going to apply that to the inner part of our eye. 
and really blending that in with the pink there. And then we're also going to apply just a little bit on our lower lash line on the inner part. Okay, now we're going to go back in with that Kenyan Classics quad and we're going to take the lightest color as our brow bone highlight. Really blend that in. Okay, now we're going to go in with this Rimmel Scandalize. This is just in black. And we're going to tight line our upper lash line. And we're going to also put just a little bit on our upper lash line. Just a tiny bit, as you can see. And now I'm going to go in with a smudger brush. And I'm going to smudge out that line because I don't want a harsh line here. We're really just trying to thicken the look of our lashes, not particularly make it look like a thick line of eyeliner. Now we're going to curl our lashes. Very, very important. And then go in with your favorite mascara. I like to use the Lash Blast Volume. That's always my favorite. And again, as I always say in all of my tutorials, I apply a ton of mascara. I don't let it dry completely, but I do kind of let it get tacky in between coats. I love building up mascara. And this one's a great one. It's my favorite. So yeah, guys, this is the finished look, and I hope that you really enjoyed it. I think it's a lot of fun. And please stay tuned, and I'll tell you what I used on the rest of my face. Okay, guys, I'm back to tell you what I used on the rest of my face. So for foundation, I used the Boots Number no. 7 Beautifully Matte Foundation, and I have it in Cool Beige. And it works for my skin tone right now because I am using tanner, but um, probably in the winter I'll have to go a shade lighter. I heard about this from Shades of Cassie, and I really love it. Um, it's probably my favorite drugstore foundation right now. I'm really, really, really enjoying it. And then for concealer, I used the NYX Photogenic... HD Photogenic Concealer in C3 is the color I have it in. Really, really like that. And then I use the Maybelline Dream Lumi. I can't even read the whole name because it's all worn off. In Ivory. Love this. And then I use some of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I just, I love this. I really can't live without it because it's one of my favorites. I mix it with almost everything else I use. I always pull in some of that, that MAC concealer. And then I also use the Ben Nye uh, Luxury Powder in Buff really enjoying this it just is i mean so light and it just blends beautifully and doesn't catch into fine lines and wrinkles and i just love it not that i have like wrinkles but i do have fine lines yeah so and then i also use the jordana fabi brow in taupe like that and then on my face i use some of this physician's formula um bronzer it's like the cashmere wear or something like that I do really like it. I just mixed them together and kind of did the the three, the, what's it called? C E3. E3, yeah. And then for blush, I used the Jordana uh, Blush Powder in Peach Blossom. Really, really like this. These are so nice. My Walgreens doesn't carry them, so I have to order them online. But it's just kind of a pinky peach. It's really, really beautiful. So I have that on. And then I also have some of this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. It was limited edition, but I just, yeah, that's what I used. In Lust, oh my goodness, so pretty. Sometimes I use this as a blush by itself, actually fairly often. But it's just, um, it's right there. It's just glowy and beautiful, and I love it. And then for lipstick, I used this Wet n Wild Fergie Lipstick in VI Pink. Heard about this from Mrs. Lola Lynn and I love it. I'd seen it several times and kept passing on it, but then I saw her swatch it and I was like, oh yeah, I need to get me that. That one right there. So pretty. And it's very creamy. I like the formula of it. It's very nice. So yeah, I hope that you really enjoyed this tutorial. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, great for summer and just, it's fun and different. I really enjoy it. So please let me know what other videos you'd like to see, other tutorials, favorites, anything. I'm willing to do it for you for sure. Um, so please subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you and I will see you in my next video. Bye!